We start the day in Cedar Rapids, Iowa at a Lincoln Highway exhibit. So what we have here is an old chunk of the Lincoln Highway known as the Seedling Mile. And what this is, is this was uh, paved in 1919 as part of the Lincoln Highway. And kind of the idea was they were showing how awesome the Lincoln Highway could be if it was paved properly, if they added curbs. Apparently in 1919, curbs were a big deal. That was considered uh, state-of-the-art technology back then. So this would be paved and look super nice so people could drive on it and see how cool the Lincoln Highway could be. And uh, that was actually a way for the state of Iowa to, uh, to earn uh, money and support for trying to uh, pave the entire Lincoln Highway in uh, this manner. You can see the monument there says, this is the site of the first and only seedling mile of concrete pavement in the state of Iowa on the Lincoln Highway. Look what we got over here. A bus covered in skeletons. See the skeleton perched up there on the very top. Oh, and the hood ornament is a demonic zombie gnome. So I guess this is the paranormal express there. Well, we got uh, two skeletons taking a selfie there in front of a spooky house. As I head west, the gas prices have seemingly gone down uh, just a little bit. It was um, almost $6 a gallon back in Indiana. So it uh, looks like they're a little lower here in Iowa. They probably will go uh, back up though as I continue to head west. Wanted to try a fast food place you don't see all over, Taco John's. All right, got my sack of food here from Taco John's. Okay, I'm not very familiar with this chain. Got a big tub of tater tots with my burrito here. They call this the super burrito. And here we go. It looks like it's meat, sauce, cheese, lettuce. You know, almost good burrito stuff. Anyway, the bite here. Mm. Pretty good, kind of the equivalent of like a Burrito Supreme from Taco Bell, but mm. a decent burrito there. Also got a side of guacamole for my tater tots. I don't know that I've ever eaten tater tots with guacamole before, but it sounds like a decent combination. Mm. They're nice, hot salty mm, got nice seasoning on those tater tots and it's delicious with a little bit of guacamole and it is time for a new state as we exit Iowa and enter the great state of Nebraska the sign there says Nebraska the good life and we have landed in Omaha Nebraska and over here we have a bridge this bridge actually crosses back in to Iowa but this is not a vehicle bridge this is actually a pedestrian bridge the Bob Carey pedestrian bridge for people that like to walk back and forth from Iowa to Nebraska the bridge actually has an interesting curve shape as it goes across the river there but I'm actually looking for something underneath the bridge here because you see under every great bridge is a great troll and under the Bob Carey pedestrian bridge lives Omar the troll 
Look at that little blue troll here. Pretty cool little statue. And uh, over here, this is Omar's walking stick. And I guess if you want to learn more about Omar, you just go to omarthetroll.com. And apparently Omar is actually short for Omaha Metro Area River. So uh, named after the river itself. I came over here to see a statue of a great man, a great professional, a great chef, and that chef is Chef Boy R D. Chef Boy R D. Some people may be shocked that to find out that Chef Boy R D, real person, not a fictional character, and uh, actually was once a revered. Italian chef and uh, because of his great skill and the great flavor of his foods he was eventually convinced to start putting his food inside of cans so yes chef Boyardee I truly owe this man a debt of gratitude because when I was completely broke when I was living in a single wide trailer I was eating chef Boyardee for pretty much every single meal it was i always knew that i would no matter how broke i was i could go through the change of my car and afford a few cans of chef boy rd my favorite my favorite was the beef aroni i like the kind with extra beef also the, the beef uh stuffed ravioli that was always good too just a good microwave bowl of chef boy rd Mwah. Now I haven't had I haven't had Chef Boyardee maybe in years. It's been, it's been a long time, but I bet if I were to crack open a can tonight and eat some Chef Boyardee, I'm sure so many memories would come flooding back. Thank you, Mr. Chef Boyardee. We have a King Kong restaurant here in Omaha, and look at this. Up on the pole, we actually have Old King Kong up there. Apparently they sell burgers, Philly steaks, and gyros. And uh, King Kong up there, smiling and holding two big cheeseburgers. And look at Mama Gorilla there with her seven baby gorillas. So while I was looking for things to do here in Omaha, Nebraska, I looked to the comment section and the number one thing that you guys recommended I do here in Omaha, Nebraska is to visit the Henry Dorley Zoo. And I looked into it and apparently Henry Dorley Zoo is one of the top zoos in the country. In fact, certain years it has been ranked the number one zoo in the country. Now when I travel, I do like to occasionally check out different zoos across America and um, I figured we would check out the Henry Dorley Zoo while we are here in Omaha. Over here we got a couple of brass monkeys. All right so let's see if we can find some animals. Well look at that there's this big futuristic biodome looking building. Uh, let's see what that is. As we enter through here. So this is the desert dome as we head into the desert. Oh yeah, look at this. You're inside the dome here. There's some big pile of sand. See some cave paintings in here. A little bat-eared fox resting back there. Oh look, he's sleepy. There's a clip springer. A clip springer right there. And it is actually their birthday. I guess that's Hermie the clip springer. He's eight years old today. Well, happy birthday to you, uh, Hermie the clip springer. There's some dwarf mongooses right there. They're actually really cute. Oh, look at them. Look at the little dwarf mongoose. This is that they do eat snakes. 
Mongoose, the natural enemies of all snakes. Hey, little guy. Oh, what are you doing? You guys looking for some snakes to fight? Oh, look. That's, that's pretty cute right there. Oh, my goodness. Over here, you can see some rare desert fish. Some actual fish in the desert. Oh, look at his tongue. Waterfall over here. There's a fork in the road here. I guess we're heading into Rattlesnake Canyon. Oh, it looks like there's an old mine shaft back in here. If you look here around around the campfire, got rattlesnakes. So rattlesnakes sitting next to that box. And a few more rattlesnakes sitting over there by the saddle. Walk here amongst the cactuses. Oh my gosh, that lizard startled me. I almost touched him. I thought he was, I thought he was, a, thought he was a real lizard. Oh, another, another sneaky brass lizard there. A little snake there. He's got little, little horns. Mm -hmm. From the Desert Dome, we head into Kingdoms of the Night. It's ominous. Oh yeah, look at those eyes right there. We maneuver our way through the cave in here. These tunnels here are full of wriggling, naked mole rats. Oh wow, look at these aardvarks here. Pretty amazing. Oh look at them. The aardvark. What you doing, Mr. Aardvark? What are you doing, Mr. Aardvark? <laughs> I never realized how much I loved aardvarks. There's also a sloth just hanging out up in that tree. These caves that you walk through are actually really cool and realistic. Oh, look in here. These are all bats. Look at those bats flying around. Oh, that's terrifying. And also, it smells really, really horrible. That's so many bats. I've never seen that many bats. Oh my God. Wow, the vampire bat. If you look down here, you can actually see they've left little cups of blood out for the vampire bat. Oh my gosh. They're tiny little armadillos running around. Oh, there's a bigger armadillo. Oh, this must be, must be baby, baby armadillos in here. Oh, look at the baby. Look at the baby armadillo. Look at him go. Oh, look at this. We walk into this cave. We look up. We have a really tall ceiling in here. This is really impressive how they have this set up in here. Oh, it's full of bats in here. It's that fruit bat fluttering around there. Now we head into the swamp. It's the alligators over here. One laying over there in the spotlight. Oh, look down there. Well, hey there, Mr. Turtle. Oh, look at these turtles down here. Well, that's a big snappy turtle right there. He's hanging out with this other turtle. I guess they're friends. You can see an orangutan down there swinging on a tire swing. And it looks like he's wearing a shirt that he has pulled up over his head. I'm doing the life. So we enter Gorilla Valley here. One thing I do notice pretty quickly here is that they actually do a really good job of indoor enclosures and indoor exhibits. 
here at this zoo. A lot of zoos don't really function very well in the winter months, but this seems like a very winter friendly zoo, even though it's really warm out today. You can see people gathering here where a gorilla is hanging out near the glass. Oh wow, you actually get really close here to the gorilla. Oh, gorillas, gorillas leaving. See the gorilla over there just hanging out by his favorite tree. Oh look, he's climbing that tree. Oh, he's really good, really good at climbing trees. Oh wow, look at him go. You can see the gorilla over there and the kids in the little bubble trying to see the gorilla. Interesting, uh, interesting setup here. Now this is interesting, we have a walkway here and apparently there's a tunnel up above with a gorilla in it. <laughs> hey gorilla. Now there's people here just walking underneath the gorilla here. A lot of gorillas here and they display them in a really interesting way. There's all the bubbles and hatches to look at the gorillas. Oh, yeah, you can see the kids poking their heads into the bubble to get a better view of the gorilla. Oh wow. Oh. The gorilla watching the little kid there. So the gorilla here sitting in this little tube, just uh, snacking on a little stick there. Gnawing on a stick. It's collecting, collecting sticks there. That's a very serious looking gorilla right there. And in case you were wondering what the gorillas looked like on the inside. Here they are. That's uh, the gorillas we were just looking at. This one standing up is an orangutan. And there's a chimpanzee. Remember, chimpanzees, they look cute, but they're, they're, they're the most dangerous animal in existence. They will rip your face off, and then your face will look like that. Boarding the train. Let's try to get a seat near the back because it's, you know, a wilder ride. Bridge right here. This train actually gets some speed here. We have toy fish, some human fingerprints, and a You can see some rhinoceroses. Up there from the train. Coming back into the station. Oh, pretty crazy splash pad here with whales jumping out of it, including a giant blue whale there, right in the middle. This is very interesting here. The water is turning this thing right here. It's ringing that bell there as well. Just one thing to note, this zoo is enormous and it's got a lot of hills up and down walking. So just uh, be prepared to uh, 
to get some exercise while you're here. It says this is Tiger Falls. You can see the prayer flags hanging up above. It's a very beautiful environment, but uh, I guess the tigers are off napping somewhere. Oh, there we go. Tigers hanging out back there. Little snack shop here at the Yeti camp. I guess this is the Yeti night house. So the Yeti is uh, is napping. So this guardians of the mountain are real. Respect the land. Oh no! Oh no! They're fighting. Okay. Okay. They they chilled out. I, was, I thought things were about to, we're going to get real there for a second. Oh no! Oh no! Are they gonna? Are they gonna start fighting? No, no, no. They've they've worked past this. Oh, look at that big old rhino right there. So cool. And check out this. There is the baby rhino. Still pretty enormous, but uh, look how adorable that little baby rhino is. This little horn has barely come through. Oh, look at these nasty old deer here. It's like they just like sitting in this mud. Some, you guys like that muck there? This here is the Garden of Tanuki. I'm not sure what Tanuki is. We have these interesting figures right here. All these different figures painted in different patterns. Again, not sure what a tanuki is, but I do like the artwork here. It's an interesting creature. Almost looks like a cross between an elephant and a panda. And it's got different stripes and spots of different animals. Yeah, I could just sit here all day and look at the tanukis. This one reminds me of Winnie the Pooh. Oh, these ones, it's an interesting color. I like the blue and black and white together. So apparently a tanuki is actually a real animal. It's known as a Japanese raccoon dog. I guess these are just different variations of tanukis. I don't know if this zoo has any actual tanukis, but uh, yeah, these ones are these ones are really cool. You can see the island out there. It's crawling with monkeys. Yeah, there you can see the monkeys over there. Down here in the water, you can see all these giant koi circling around. Oh, look at all the koi over there. Yeah, look at all these koi. I bet if you fell in there, the koi would skin you alive like a bunch of piranha. That's interesting. Right in the middle of the koi, there's a school of catfish. A statue of a mammoth right there. I don't know what, I don't know what those kids are doing back there. Looks like there's a sky lift that takes you across the park. Oh, look over there. A couple zebras just hanging out next to that giant termite mound. Got a couple of elephants over here. Well, hello there, giraffes. Look at you guys. Oh, boy. You guys sure have long necks, I'll tell you what. Let's go peek at the giraffe indoor rooms. Oh, look at this. They have a little baby giraffe here. Oh, his name is Arthur. He was born in July of 2021, so he's not quite a year old. And look at that. He likes to eat hay. 
Hey, baby Arthur. Now it appears they actually have a full aquarium section. So uh, let's head into this building. Have an interesting aquatic building here. All right, heading into the aquarium. And there's very nice air conditioning in here, but as we enter, see the giant squid above our heads. And what's this? It's a shark. It's lifeless, dead eyes. Black, like a doll's eyes. Some penguins frolicking here in the water. Oh, look at them go. Oh, gonna go like a little torpedoes there. Oh, just did a cool jump out of the water. Oh, wow. Oh man. Oh, they're so fast. Look, look at this big fish. Oh, look at this. We got a shark tunnel. Well, there's a shark. See a shark over there? Well, that's not a shark. These fish better watch out. There's, oh, there's the shark right there. You gotta watch out. Oh, there's another shark. You gotta watch out. They're sneaky. Enter the jellyfish room here. See the tanks. The jellyfish listing along. Oh, look at these. Such a weird and unusual creature. See some stingrays in here. Oh, the happy little ray. Oh, there's a little hammerhead shark. This Amazon scene here. You look below the water, you have these giant pacus, which are like big, friendly, vegetarian piranhas. So thank you for joining me here today at the Henry Dorley Zoo here in Omaha, Nebraska. Now, tomorrow morning, we need to get back on that Lincoln Highway and keep heading towards San Francisco. And I appreciate you guys, all the suggestions, all the comments. It really, really makes me appreciate all the people out there. And uh, if you like these, you like these videos, please subscribe. Of course, during this road trip, I'll be uh, filming every day, uploading every morning until I reach the end of the Lincoln Highway. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel, consider donating to Patreon. Three dollars or more will get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also, we're selling five different enamel pins in the Etsy shop. All that information is in the description. And all that goes to help keep this train on the track, this boat on the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.